Hey Lobos, Mr. J here to show you how to record a Google presentation for your teacher since you can't do it live in the classroom any longer. First things first, open up Chrome and go to screencastify.com. It's a website that looks like this. Once you get there, you'll see that um, this will be a green button that says Add to Chrome if you haven't already done that. So you'll want to go ahead and click on Add to Chrome. You may need to be logged into your PSD Google account in order for all of this to work correctly. So if you're not already, go ahead and get logged into your PSD Google account. Once you have it installed, you'll see this pink arrow here with a white video camera in the middle. That's the icon for Screencastify. Once you have that, you're ready to start recording. Before you record, though, I would go to the Google presentation, go through all the slides, figure out exactly what you're going to say. Um, keep in mind that you can add these speaker notes down to the bottom if you'd like to be able to read that more eloquently for your teacher and not waste their time by uh, stumbling through all the slides. Once you've done a dry run and you're comfortable with what you're going to talk about, then you're ready to record. So you're going to come up here to this pink arrow with the white camera in the middle and you're going to go ahead and hit record. Um, if you're not signed in at this point, it might tell you to sign in and it should show the Google logo down here and you should be able to click on that Google icon and sign in with your PSD email and password. That will tell Screencastify which Google Drive to save the finished recording in, which is important. You can choose the browser tab, the whole desktop, or just the webcam. Um, if you're not sure what to record, you could just do the whole desktop, and that's going to capture everything that you um, have on your computer that's in front of the in the front of your screen. You can choose whatever microphone you want. I'm wearing a headset. The built-in microphone on your laptop should be just fine. If you want to embed the webcam, you can do that here too. Probably not necessary, but you can see what your teacher asks for. When you're ready to record, you just hit the blue record button. You only have five minutes, so make sure that you've um, practiced and that it won't take more than five minutes. And then we we'll just hit the blue record button. It'll give you a three second countdown. And it didn't show for some reason, but I heard the, the tone. Usually it will give you the three second countdown. At this point, you're ready to start presenting. If you wanted to go full screen, you could go view present. The only problem with going full screen is you'll lose those speaker notes, so just keep that in mind if you need the speaker notes. Either print a hard copy or else just don't do it in full screen. At this point you could go ahead and elaborate on the slides and present this out loud just like you would do in a class with your classmates. Talking about whatever you want to talk about, whatever you've typed into those speaker notes. Again, you've got five minutes to get through this. Once you're satisfied with your finished product, you can stop the recording by hitting the stop button up here on the Screencastify icon. You can trash it, restart, pause it, or stop it all together. I'm just going to go ahead and stop this recording. And it brings it up and gives you a little preview. You can uh, crop the beginning if you need to, because maybe before you went into full screen mode, you want to crop that. So I can use these scissors and crop that. And then maybe at the end, you don't want to record the last bit where you were turning it off. At that, you could move that wherever you want, and then should be able to um, cut that end. And um, I was going to save that with the trim. To, and that should have gotten rid of the beginning and the end of my video, hopefully if I did it correctly. And that's an optional step that you actually don't even need to do. So um, feel free to skip that step. Now to turn this into your teacher, you can get this uh, copy, the shareable link, and then you can give that to your teacher. But hopefully what they've done is 
and I think the share to classroom is for teachers only, but hopefully what your teacher's done is in their Google Classroom, hopefully they've made an assignment where you can submit this. And so that's ultimately where you would want to go to do that. I just want to show you where it puts that finished video. So in your Google Drive, in your PSD Google Drive, there, there should now be a Screencastify folder in your Google Drive. And it's going to um, save all those recordings here. And it will take a minute for them to appear, so be patient. But what you should be able to do now is to go into your teacher's Google Classroom. And then and they've hopefully made this an assignment where you can submit that. And what you'll do is browse for this video that you've recorded and turn that into your teacher through their Google Classroom. If you submit it that way, the sharing permissions will automatically be changed for your teacher to access. If you're sharing it with your teacher any other way, through email or something like that, you'll need to go ahead and right click on that file and, and share it with that teacher or that classmate in order for them to be able to, um, to see that. And you can just do that through the shareable link here. Or you could um, type in your teacher's email address. The shareable link is actually the fastest, easiest way to do that. But if you're turning it in through the Google Classroom, you don't need to do that extra step. Only if you're emailing it to your teacher or something. Okay, so that's um, a real quick session on how to record your Google presentation for your teacher. If you have any problems, reach out to your teacher and I'll uh, make adjustments to this video or get another tool.